Hey good people, welcome back to Beauty in the Frizz. My name is Kara. Whether you're new or returning, thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with me for another one today. Today, I am going to be trying out the MAC Cosmetics Whitney Houston Palette. It's actually not called the Whitney Houston Palette. It's called Whitney's Nippy Iconic Palette. So if you want to go ahead and hear a bit about the palette, see the swatches, and then two looks, keep watching this video. Let me know what you think, and if makeup is your therapy and your love, if it makes you happy and you wanna hang out with someone that feels the same way, definitely consider joining the community. I'd love to have you back. All right, let's get started. All right, first of all, I hope you are doing well whenever you are watching this video. This collection launched at the end of last year and I was really excited to see the small eight pan palette because the last two that I have from MAC, which are the Wakanda Forever palette and the Feast Your Eyes palette, that one was from 2021, the Feast Your Eyes, and then Wakanda came out in 2022 as well the formula of those palettes have been fantastic. They are like creamy shadows. So I assumed that this Whitney Houston palette was gonna be the same thing. This collection consisted of the palette. There were a couple blushes, some lipsticks, and a skin finish, I believe. But the palette is the only thing that really stood out to me and my thought was that having these cream shadows in more neutral tones i was going to get a lot of use out of it the wakanda palette is a bit bright and it's gorgeous but it's just not going to be something that i will wear every day whereas the shades in this palette are more of my speed especially because i'm getting into loving cool tones the feast your eyes palette is another great one but let's focus on this one here when we open the palette you see what i mean about the neutral shades and the cool tones you've got some grays some browns a black and you've got like these two shimmers here so i thought they would make some nice combos unfortunately Unfortunately, these are all powder shadows and I was so disappointed I was like my heart my heart I couldn't tell when I opened the palette and then when I swatched it I was like these are powders so I was already a bit disappointed to be honest and I was like you know what let me just go ahead and give it a try this palette is $38 and the other items that are in this collection just didn't really speak to me or you know call my attention and honestly with some of these shades i'm kind of unsure of how they came up with what they were going to do for this collection and the color stories so with that being said we're gonna go ahead and get into the swatches of this palette all right you guys let's go ahead and take a look at the whitney houston palette we're gonna go ahead and get into the swatches the first shade is nippy's sand dust here it is and it's a powder shade so i think this is a powder palette and i was hoping it was going to be the cream formula next is nippy taupe dusk and it's another powder all right we're gonna move on next we have nippy's chestnut here it is and last on the top row is nippy's grape so that's the top row on the bottom row we have nippy platinum all right i was hoping at least for these shimmers to be creams and they are not this is an unpleasant surprise we have nippy's melon nippy's crease i really like nippy's crease this one feels a little more creamy but it's not a cream. And last is Nippy's Noir. And here are the swatches of the palette. Let's get into the first look with this palette. Going into Nippy's Melon with a Sonia G Classic Crease Brush. Starting this in the crease, and I'm gonna blend it over. I have on the MAC Pink Pot and Soft Ochre. I'm just gonna bring it out a little bit. So here's our transition and I want to go into Nippy's sand dust in is it dust yeah I want to go into Nippy's sand dust with a BK Beauty a502 brush I'm just going to soften it up a little bit here on the edges 
just wanted to see how it looks as a blend out shade. I'm also gonna put a little bit up here underneath the brow bone. I mean, this is very light. You can barely see it and it may not look like it's even doing anything. So there's that. Taking the same brush into Nippy's Chestnut. I'm gonna just focus this on the outer corner and in the crease to create a little more of a smoky effect. This one's pretty pigmented, so you don't need to put a lot on the brush. All right, here's what we have so far. Gonna go into Nippy's Crease using a Sonya G Flat Definer. Okay, I am not sure why this shade is called Nippy's Crease, but we're using it for the lid. And this is going on really nicely with the brush. And you could use this as a crease shade because, and you can use any eyeshadow where you want it, but I know many people don't like a shimmer in the crease, but this shade doesn't really have a lot of shimmer, you know what I mean? So it's more of a satin, it has a little bit of sparkle in it, but you could easily use this like a matte, I think. I'm just taking a blending brush from MSQ and just blending everything together. For the lower lash line, I'm just gonna combine this shade with our transition. So I'll keep this one on the outer corner and then switch to this one as we get closer to the inner corner. So starting with Nippy's Chestnut on the outer corner, just filling in that space between the upper and lower part of the eye. Going into Nippy's Melon. And for the inner corner highlight, I really can't think of anything else to use, but the Nippy's Sand Dust shade. So I'm just taking that on a pencil brush and putting it here in the inner corner. I'm gonna take Nippy's Noir on this e.l.f. eyeliner brush, and I'm gonna use it as a liner. And I'm really just going against the lashes on the outer part and hopefully that will emphasize my lashes there. And then I'll just keep going towards the inner part of the eye. But I'm really just brushing the black into the lashes. I don't really care about seeing a black line on the top. So I'm not sure if you can see a difference. It is subtle, but I, I think it makes the lashes stand out a little bit more because it's dark, you know, because it's such a dark shade. I don't know, I feel like I can tell that the liner's there. All right, and here is the look. May have a little cleaning up to do with that liner, we shall see. I'm gonna finish everything and be back to tell you how I feel about this first one. All right, you guys, here's the finished look. I'm using these lashes up, y'all. <laughs> to finish off the look, I used a Victoria Beckham liner in the shade Bordeaux, so it's like a, a plum. And then I did put on these wispy lashes that I got from Amazon. And for my blush, I'm wearing Venetian Sunrise from Pat McGrath. And my lipstick is from the Natasha Denona My Dream Collection that came out last year. So I love having the bold eyes and like the nude lips and the eyes are really a standout. As far as this eye look, I really like the eye look. I, I'm gonna be honest, but I just don't think that I needed this palette to create this eye look. I am really starting to fall in love with the cool tones. I love how the melon shade, which I don't know why it's called melon, but I love how that shade and the chestnut worked with this purple. It's really smoky and this is definitely like a look that I would wear to go out or something like that. So happy with the look. We will see, I'm gonna do one more look, but I think I already have my thoughts about this palette overall. I'll save them to the end, but 
I, I wanted Whitney to have something real special, you know what I mean? And my gut feeling is that this isn't it. So let's get into one more look and then I'll share all those thoughts. All right, so let's get into the second look with this palette. Starting with Nippy's Taupe Dusk on a Sonia G Classic Crease. I'm gonna use the same brush and deepen up the look with Nippy's Grape. Hi. Hi. Hi everyone. Oh, I'm gonna show them my new music that I made. August is going to show you the new music that he makes. I'm, I'm, I'm learning. He's learning music, some drum patterns that he is creating. So he'll be out to show you that shortly. The food was good. I'm happy. I know, you're pretty much done. August and Marky now get daily checklists and they are the gonna be getting an allowance, yes. I don't, I don't, I don't need to have our allowance. They wanna have allowance, well, August wants to have allowance every day. Uh, I told them that's not how it works, cause I get paid. I, I can help you pay rent. You can help me pay rent? Uh -huh. Well, the, here's the deal. The bills, not you wanna help pay bills? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well. I was trying to explain to August that I work every day, but I don't get paid every day. You know what I mean? I have to wait two weeks to get my paycheck or my what? direct deposit. Yes. So we're still working on an amount. Oh, uh, restaurants get paid every day? No, people don't get paid every day. I don't know if they do. No, typically no. Um, if they do, I, don't know, I probably am in the wrong field. These colors are going together just fine. No issues with the formula or blending or anything like that. I'm gonna try out Nippy's Platinum. I'm gonna use this Morphe shader. Let me get my markers. Oh, he needs to get his markers for his drum beat. Mm, this one. Oh, let's see. He needs to have some colorful sparkles in it, but I don't think it's anything that you're gonna be able to see. Back. You're back. Okay, let me finish this eye real quick, and then once I'm done, just just this color right here. You can go ahead and do what you need to do. That was not the music. Oh, I was wondering. <laughs> that laugh, really fast, let me just tell them what I'm gonna do because, oh, I was supposed to go into the black. Can I do it now? Hold on. Yeah, go ahead, August, because I can't concentrate anyway. So. Guys, okay. I, I just learned this music. So wait. Just face it down. I can't face it down. They can hear it, though. Mmm. Mm. To justify my love. Hey. Oh, let me do a song. Hold on. Oh, wait a minute. Try again. Uh. Wanna dance with somebody. I wanna feel the heat with somebody. Yeah, I wanna dance with somebody. With somebody who loves me. Yeah, this is the video. Okay, keep, just keep singing. Uh, okay, I need another song. Hold on. Uh, I <laughs> sing Drake. Drake? No, I don't want to sing Drake. Hold on. I got the stuff that you want. I got the things. Okay. I can't think of that song from The Bodyguard. No. Oh, me, Why are you not? Look, this is the low level one, dude. The low level. Take me for a oh, Wait, can we do that? Can we do it one more time? <laughs> Hot Marky, come in. Shame. Oh, it's not time yet. Wait, one, two. Shame. Come in. Hold on, tell my. Wait, I want to finish tell the work. Be right back. Oh, he'll be right back. I was trying to do a little remix. I need him to come on with the beat. All right, we're gonna go 
see, here's the thing. This, I have so many things to say about this palette. Cause I'ma really need to look very much further. Cause this is not what I need. I'ma have to look further. Uh, we're going into Nippy's Noir. I, I mean, this is just gloom and doom here, people. I don't know what to say about it. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna just do that. And you know, I, I could have uh, done the, these color combinations differently, I am sure. But I was trying to have one look be more with the like brown chestnut purple, which was a, a really smoky look too. And then I have this. Oh, it's just not good. All right. I don't know who was in charge of this situation. That's all I'm gonna say. All right, um, so going into Nippy's Grape with a rougher number two, lower lash line. Probably wasn't the right brush for it. It's not a bad look or anything. I'm just saying like, it does this say Whitney? Cause I can't see. Going into Nippy's Taupe Dusk. And there is no inner corner, wink wink. So we're going into Nippy's Sand Dust. I'm taking a little pencil brush here. All right, here is the second look with the palette. Now I'm gonna just put on mascara uh, just because I'm just gonna be washing my face after this, unfortunately. And I will be back to let you know what I think about this look and this palette. Hi guys. Today, I'm gonna show you what I never showed you before. I I did uh, I'm I'm gonna uh, show you some music that I've been learning um, when I when I wasn't in the videos. I was practicing music, right, Mom? Yeah. So I'm gonna show you some songs. Songs? Go ahead, all this. I'm gonna show you what you first play music and when you when you play music for a week and you play music for a month when you play music for one year okay okay let's do that so one one day can you do the drum beat clock strikes upon the power the second one is gonna be all right go ahead one Two, three, go. Wait. You give good love to me, baby. One look takes heart of mine. It took your pants. Okay. <laughs> this is gonna sound different than the than the. They can't see the, you. Then the almost last one. Uh, Cause I'm I'm ready now. The almost last one. So it's 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 gonna sound the same. Alright, ready? But it's gonna be with, it's gonna be with this side. No proof anyone could hear in our hearts. Okay, your beats be changing up. Okay guys, I'm <clears throat> Alright, come on, I'm ready. I'm, I can give I got I, I am uh I'm, I'm ready, this I, is good. I am uh Miss Karis. No, okay, I, come on. I, I am beating the Frizz's son. If, if, if they know that. If you're new. Oh, some people did comment their names. I'll show you. I have to show you if what you're comments. new. If you, if, if, tell your cousin, tell if you, if you're, if some of your cousins or your sister or your mom likes makeup, check, tell them to check out this video. Right now. You got one more beat? I'm just gonna do the same one then. Actually, I don't even know. All right, here we go. I believe the children are the future. Teach them well, let them lead the way. Show them all the beauty they possess inside. Give them a sense of pride to make it easier. Let the children's laughter. Reminds us how we used to be. All right. Okay. Excellent God. job. Thank All right, you. I'm gonna finish this because we gotta Mom, go. 
This is a separate video. It is not a separate video. Yes, it is. August, I'm, let's go. What do you mean it's a separate video? Let me finish this up, because this I got it, I got stuff on my checklist. Oh. You saw my checklist, 30 minute workouts probably not happening for me. Oh no. Okay guys, this is the end of the video, bye. So, here's a final look. Get my lights right, here we go. Okay, so I just used a navy liner and mascara. I wasn't even putting lashes on with this. Don't do it. Y'all remember that meme? I already did it. No, I already did it, so y'all don't have to. Let me just give y'all the final thoughts. Okay, where do I begin? Maybe with the packaging? I think maybe this is supposed to simulate a microphone let's look at it one more time so you see that like the microphone the part that you sing into okay if, if we say so i'm trying to make sense of it i don't know what to say about that i think whitney deserved more if you want to just put out a neutral palette with cool tones just do that don't say it's whitney houston because was whitney houston known for iconic makeup looks hmm no she wasn't did whitney houston wear makeup the two things that stand out to me regarding Whitney Houston and makeup looks, and I might be missing something, and I didn't do any research on this, so I'm just saying, so this is just what's coming to my mind, is the I Wanna Dance With Somebody video, where it was kinda like 80s, you know, she had on like a bright pink lipstick, you know, real 80s. Not that that would be a representation of Whitney Houston. Do you think you could buy me your tech deck? A what? I'll have to think about it, but I need to. I, I I don't know what those things are, but if I don't get no, these, I, I saw a horseshoe at the school. Okay, that's fine. But I think you could just buy me a tic-tac. I'll think about it, but I need to get my thoughts out. I remember her wearing red, red lipstick. I'm thinking about just some different videos. The bodyguard, for some reason, is standing out to me with a red lipstick. But I can't think of anything iconic with makeup looks, which doesn't mean that she did not deserve this collaboration. But what I'm saying is not this. And then I just also feel like the whole thing, I know it's Nippy's iconic, Whitney's Nippy iconic palette. And Nippy was the nickname that she went by. And that's great. But I mean, did every name have to be Nippy's something, Nippy's sand dust, like Nippy's melon. First of all, this doesn't give me a melon vibe. When I think of a melon shade, I'm thinking more of like a salmon tone. That's just me. Nippy's platinum. Is this platinum? Help me help myself because I have said some things on my video that I don't know about. And I really appreciate when people reach out and say, oh, it's this like, when Mel had She's in Parties, and I was like, I don't understand what that is, and I believe it was a song. Had no idea. So I am here to learn, but I cannot, I cannot let this, uh, go. cause I didn't even wanna do a video on this, honestly, because all because when I found out that these were not the creams, but that was my fault. So I was like, I'm still gonna do the video. Because, like, Whitney Houston is an icon. I love Whitney Houston, and I just feel like, this, this, this is what we get. It's just not coming together for me, y'all. And when I was going to put my mascara on, this platinum shade, you're gonna to have to wet this because it is dusty and it was uneven on my eye. I don't know if they're calling it platinum because it has some platinum flex. This is not it, y'all. This is not it. Who? was involved who was involved with this collaboration i need to talk to brandy because maybe there's something that i don't know but this is just matt just you could have just come out with a cool tone palette and just called it i don't i don't even know but we're, we're not we are not calling this whitney houston I'm, i just refuse i'm not getting it i'm not seeing it i don't think i've seen any reviews up I haven't looked for any, but mm -mm. the swatches, mm -mm. no, 
there there are no this is a no we could have done something else maybe the shades in the palette could have represented movies or song titles you know how songs can give you a feeling of a color you know what i mean like I mean, it could have been anything. This was poor. I'm sorry, this was poorly done. You know, I really try to see other perspectives. So that's why I'm saying there might be something that I just don't know that I'm missing. You know what I mean? But if you love Whitney Houston and you want to purchase this palette because that's why I purchased it, you may be disappointed unless you're going to just feel happy having the collab because it's a collab with Whitney Houston, if that makes sense. Other than that, I just, I can't see. I don't see it. I mean, maybe if I would have wet those shimmers, the purple shimmer that I used in the first look, that was okay. This platinum shade, I don't know. You couldn't even give me a shimmery wait, What is this? What? I don't even see Whitney Houston wearing this shade. Talking about nippy sand dust. It, that's what it is, dust. Not even as a blend out. Maybe a, maybe a brow bone highlight. I'm just trying to think of different roles I've seen her in. So we got the bodyguard, she was a singer. I think she was a fairy godmother, right? In Cinderella with Brandy. Waiting to exhale. I mean, in Waiting to Exhale, I feel like she had a pretty natural look. What was her name, Savannah? Yes. Mac, y'all tried it, y'all tried it how can you come out with the wakanda forever palette how could you let me get that palette okay it's still a little cardboard whatever but i am just telling you these shades this makes me think about wakanda forever the movie the vibrancy uh, now I'm, I'm just mad so now even if they did come out with that whitney houston palette in with creams i still don't see what in this palette is saying whitney houston to me like there's nothing mac how could you mm, they're triggering my cough and I, I i just can't take it right now like i don't know what's going on mac you are off my list i'm so sorry and now I'm like, was the Wakanda palette even good? I'm questioning everything now, questioning it all. I mean, give me like an acrylic or a hard plastic, like the uh, Pat McGrath. I mean, this is Whitney Houston, y'all. Like Whitney Houston, come on. I don't know who was in charge. I don't wanna know who was in charge because they're probably making more money than me. Let me know if you purchased this palette. Those are my thoughts and I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed because that palette is not living up to the icon that Whitney Houston was. It's, it's just not living up to it. Talking about some iconic palette. Icon. I am gonna get on out of here cause I need to calm down. All right. So if you do like this palette, I, I'm just being real judgy with it because I think many people were huge and are still huge fans of Whitney Houston. And I'm also really trying to be careful with what I spend my money on. I didn't have any reference to seeing anyone that had this uh, palette before I purchased it, but I definitely wouldn't. I was not able to get to a store to see this. I ordered it at the launch right online. So, you know, it happens sometimes with makeup, but it's not gonna happen anymore. Mm -mm, not with Mac. I don't know how they're gonna redeem themselves, but that's a hot mess. Okay. Thank you so much for taking out some of your time and hanging out with me for another one today. I hope all this was therapy for you, the beats, the rant, <laughs> the singing, all of it. I came home today and got the boys together and it, it made a huge difference with giving them some of the responsibility for what they needed to do in the evening. So I'm gonna continue to do that because I could actually film and not feel rushed that like, oh my gosh, they gotta take their showers, they have to do this. Uh, August is actually uh, leading the checklist completion for him and Marky. So took a little bit of responsibility off me and onto them. And I plan on doing more of that. So again, I hope this was therapy for you. It always is for me. And until I see you again, make sure you're being gentle with yourself. Talk to yourself nice. Stay safe. And I will see y'all in the next one. Bye. Bye.